time to get some sleep. No fucking way. How are you in this room? Did you sneak in? What do you mean? What? This is my room. I remember you and I talked to the teachers to change our rooms so that, you know, to avoid any confusions or suspicions that we stay the night together. You know? Oh, God. Don't tell me that they're actually setting this whole thing up. I mean, they have to. They have to know this at this point. I mean, they wouldn't be setting us up like this twice in a row. Are you sure you didn't sneak in here? I mean, if this is some sort of prank, I mean, regardless, the last two days were amazing. But I just... I just want to make sure that this isn't some sort of strange coincidence, because if this is, then now I gotta be going crazy. There's no way the teachers know. Maybe, maybe they thought they, they separated us both to different rooms, right? I mean, whatever, it, it is what it is, but just to make sure that you wake up extra early tomorrow, okay? That means no kissing. No, not doing anything weird because, well, we have to get up early tomorrow, right? And, I mean, as much as I really want to kiss you, and I really do want to kiss you, I don't. I don't want to put us in a bad situation. I mean, it looks like your friends really care about you. And knowing that you hang out with me, it's... They're probably going to hate you for it. The truth is, I don't really care about my reputation. I don't. I mean, not that I lied about... They said on the first day. I meant every word, but truth is, I care more about you and your friends. I mean, I don't even like my friends. They're all just a bunch of assholes. And honestly, I'm looking for a reason to just be like you. Doing what you think is right and just having fun with it. You know? After the, the first night, I had a lot to think about. And I realized that this is not who I am. It's not the things I like doing. You know what? Screw hiding this. First thing tomorrow, I guess they're just gonna have to accept that you and I walked out of the same bedroom. <laughs> because I don't fucking care. Anybody can think what they want, and truth is, I love you. <sighs> That's so fucking crazy that I just said that, but I mean it. I do. I've been trying to fight back these feelings that I have for you. You know, you've been there for me. You've talked to me. And despite all the times that I've bullied you, I couldn't... I couldn't escape this thing. And that is that... For a while now, I've always felt this way for you. After our first kiss, our first night together, I, I don't want to pretend anymore. I don't want to be this guy who always has to fake being himself in front of everybody. 
my reputation is bullshit. And, and I'm sure once I'm out of high school, these people are not even going to remember who I am. So why does it even matter? Thank you for sending me straight last night. When you, when I had a moment of being real and telling you how I felt all those years of being a bully, I realized that this is, it's more to life than just this. And I want to spend that life with you. I want to go on dates with you. I want to hang out with you. I want to be able to make you laugh, make you smile. I don't know what I'm saying, but this is how I really feel about you. Before you continue, I want to make it official. I need to ask. Well, will you be mine? I really want to be your boyfriend. And I guess what I'm saying is, I want to make this official. I don't want to be hiding anymore. Tease me. <laughs> I'm asking you straight up because I don't think it was fair that we were doing all these things and I was forcing you to hide. So I think it's only right to ask, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. I love you. Cut all you want. Sound good?